In a way, it's uh, kind of like a, a power of attorney. This uh, commission that Jesus gave to us, his followers, and told us to go forth and to preach and to teach and to do it in his name. That's a beautiful thing to, to think that we can speak the very oracles of God as we would pray and allow the Holy Spirit just to minister before us. See, a lot of people, they're, they're afraid of rejection. People don't like being rejected. And so as a result of that, oftentimes there's this reluctance to share this glorious message of the gospel. Even when the opportunity is just right there in front of them, they'd be hesitant to just open their mouth and just share the love of Jesus. And as I say, just tell people what happened in your life. Just, just give your own testimony. And let it stand because it'll be powerful. And nobody can tell your story quite like you can tell your story. But it's important that we do, that we tell our story and tell our experience of how we came to Christ and how it has ministered to our heart and soul. And many times in many people's lives, it changed them dramatically because they realized that God was in, involved in all of this, that God was working the plan. And you see, it is the, the heart of God that his kingdom would be expanded and that the borders of his kingdom would be expanded. But that responsibility lies upon those who have themselves been blessed to come to this saving knowledge of Christ and to have this wonderful assurance in their heart that when they are done on this earth, they just enter into the joys of the Lord into a whole new realm, the spiritual realm, where heaven is and where death and dying is not. <laughs> See, that's a great message. And that's great information to have. And it's very important that we would share that type of information because if you are aware of something and the potential for danger and you would not take the time to, to stop somebody from approaching that or continue to, to, to walk to where they could possibly come into harm. And you would just stand there and say, well, I don't care. I don't care if they, if they perish because they walked into a wall or, or, or anything of that nature. Well, no. We would, we, we would cry out, stop! Well, this is where we are. As believers in Christ Jesus, we believe that the Father in heaven is there to, to uh, he loves us and he provided the, the means of salvation for us. We know all of that. And not to be willing to share that message to, with somebody who does not know. It's very contrary to what Jesus has said to us. All power is given to me. Go, preach, teach, proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ that men and women would come to a saving knowledge and a saving experience of who Christ is and that they who are uh, of a spiritual realm because they're both physical and spiritual and realize that the spiritual person will live forever, forever with our Heavenly Father. You see, we need to share that. We need to make sure that people no, this is Pastor Jack King with a gospel on the radio broadcast.